morning everybody welcome to vlogmas day two it's bright and early it's just before 4 a.m in the morning and i'm making myself a coffee so that i can put my face on and start getting ready for work come over here with me while i do my makeup i'm literally trying to do four gazillion things at once mm -hmm. I literally was just going on my channel and I'm like why is my vlogmas day one not uploaded like where is it and so I check on my phone and I check it and it's still on private so I should probably make it public <laughs> okay so now my vlog my vlogmas day one is finally uploaded I need to get dressed now and put my uniform on so I will not see you guys until I come back from work I think I'm only signing off at 3 45 p.m. or something so I'm gonna be gone pretty much the whole day so this vlog is probably gonna be a little bit shorter than usual because I will not have that much content to give you guys throughout the day but I'll see you all when I come back from work okay bye <laughs> Does anyone else get like super freaked out <laughs> when like police are driving behind them or next to them? Like it's so weird for me. I'm like trying to slow down so that they just pass me. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> By the way, you know that it is full on summer when this is what 5 a.m. looks like. It's literally five o'clock in the morning. And it's already so bright. I look like death, pretty much, right now. And I'm aware. So I just got home. It is 5 p.m. and I am so tired. Wow, I am beyond. I like it's weird after two off days and then coming back to work and having like a, an 11 hour day. It's it's quite something. It wasn't even like a bad day at all it was just busy and it was four flights back to back you know so it was a little bit busy we were on time everything went well it's just that like i don't know i was i'm just tired <laughs> i'm just tired that's it i didn't sleep properly last night and then obviously i was up super early this morning you guys saw that but um yeah it was an interesting day i was flying as one right so i was up front with my senior whenever i watch american flight attendant vlogs i never really quite understand when they say like i was flying flight attendant b or flight attendant c um and like i was in charge of the galley or whatever because with us we aren't like in charge of the galley like we all partake in what goes on in the galley and the sales of our stock and the safety of our passengers and our doors and our zones and you know all that stuff and then the senior just oversees all of that so but anyway that's what i did today it was a lot of fun my senior was super super sweet she was telling me how she started in like this airline industry and for my company and stuff and she started out working for the call center and she's just like not been giving up and applying and applying and applying and she eventually got hired as a flight attendant um, for the company and she couldn't even be based out of Johannesburg when she first applied she had to be based out of Cape Town and then eventually moved to Johannesburg based so for those of you who think that you can't do it just don't give up get your foot in the door even if you just work in the call center it's better than nothing trust me and you have a really good chance of being noticed and being given an opportunity to actually fly for that airline I still look absolutely horrible yeah it looks like my passengers attacked me or something and they really didn't my passengers were great today i had a blind passenger he was so sweet he was so nice 
and he was the one telling me where's your arm let me hold on to it and then i'll just follow you wherever you want to go wherever you want to take me he was so cute and so i took him to a seat and i briefed him and everything and the passengers around us could hear everything i was saying and so these three wonderful ladies they must have been in their 60s or something they just looked like the life of the party they um get my attention when i'm done briefing and they go if anything happens to him honey we'll take care of him <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh you guys are so sweet and so i turned to the guy and i'm like these three beautiful ladies are going to take care of you during this flight and he and he just laughed he was like oh no and he was like blushing oh <gasps> you guys my captain i my captain was flirting today <gasps> I, like, wow, my senior and I's minds were just blown. We were like, what is going on? So there was this lady who was brought in a wheelchair. This was probably like the second or third flight. Um, sorry, I'm just going from one story to the next, so try to keep up, okay? Because <laughs> I'm like, right now, I'm like, Bleh. Anyway, so this lady comes in a wheelchair, and then she, as she's getting on the plane, she turns and she goes... She goes, oh, I'm just going to go to the loo quickly. And she goes to the toilet. And then as she leaves the toilet, she's like, she looks forward into the flight deck and she sees the pilots and she goes, hmm, we've got some good looking pilots today. And so the first officer was female. The male, the captain was like an old man. He's probably in his 60s. He's like an old man. He's got like white hair and everything. And she goes, hmm, good looking pilots. And my senior and I are like, oh, okay, we'll let them know. So we go and we tell the captain, like, listen, um, we're like, are you married, captain? One alpha has a little bit of a crush on you. So, you know, we want to, you know, you you might want to, like, get in there, <laughs> you know, if you're interested. And he goes, oh, okay. And so at the end of the day, um, at one point, we switched pilots. So our pilots got off and we got other pilots on our flight and so when this when this captain was getting off he was like oh i didn't even get to see my girlfriend he was like teasing us and we go no she's still here she's waiting for her wheelchair to come fetch her and he's like okay and coincidentally this lady stood up and she was like walking towards the door to see if her wheelchair had arrived yet so they stand there and they're like oh hi and we're like saying to the captain this is her. <laughs> And so they are like, oh, yeah. And then she goes, thank you for the most wonderful flight. It was so comfortable, so great. And the, the captain was like, yes, it was. It was, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. And she goes, yes, I definitely enjoyed it. And she goes, she touches his arm, you guys. And she's like, um, I hope that on my way back, I get you as a pilot again. <laughs> And so me and my senior like couldn't even hold it. And at that point, we both were just like. <laughs> and then the pilot and then the captain's face just went blood red. He was, oh my gosh. And he had the biggest smile on his face. Keep in mind, you guys, both of them are like in their 60s. So for us, it was just the cutest, most sweetest thing ever to watch these like old people like kind I don't like to me that was flirting to me that was flirting what do you guys think I think they were definitely flirting it was so cute oh my gosh that made my day anyway huh, the rest of the day was relatively okay I am talking your guys's ears off right now I'm sorry but like there's not much else I'm gonna do today so I figured I would just tell you stories about my flights today tomorrow is a nice quick day I will actually do other things other than just go to work <laughs> so it might be more of a vlog tomorrow but for today that is what happened and it was a lot of fun i almost forgot to open the advent calendar so so let's look for day two three five. Oh, there's day two it's tiny up there okay what does this one say oh you guys the this advent calendar has like all these inspiring things about like women that have done cool things over history so today it says agatha christie is the best-selling novelist of all time with over two billion books sold worldwide that's actually really cool i didn't know that i don't think i've ever um read an agatha christie book before but obviously i'll look into it now <laughs> also don't mind that pile of laundry it's clean let's open this Ooh. <gasps> ah! It is a mango.
Mango Bath Bomb. I have never had a bath bomb before in my life, but it smells so good already. Wow. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to be having baths anytime soon. It is like the middle of summer right now, so it's far too hot for that, but I'm definitely saving this for like a winter like self-care evening this is so cool back on the calendar you go good night advent calendar i'll be seeing you tomorrow okay bye okay this is supper this is the best i could do i literally slapped this together we already had rotisserie chicken here's the rest of it so I just heated that up in the oven. Keegan likes the chicken thigh and the drumstick and I like the wing. So it's perfect. Um, I made him some mash as well. Out of a packet, of course. And then I just had chicken with um, peas because hashtag health. This is my favorite sauce, you guys. I literally have it over everything. So... I spent a good part of last week watching other people's previous vlogmases and I noticed a lot of them started them off with like a lot of like festive fun and Christmas decorating and all that stuff and I didn't really grow up like celebrating Christmas as religiously as I think a lot of people on YouTube did. My parents did like kind of touch on Christmas but not a lot but I've always been like a really festive person and I've always been really into the idea of Christmas. So I love getting like Christmas trees and a few decorations here and there, but I definitely don't think I'll be going all out or anything, but at some point I will be decorating for Christmas and getting a little bit more festive. I also just realized that this is the exact same top I was wearing this morning with the exact same bandana I had on this morning. Trust me, hours have passed. <laughs> you can tell probably by how tired I am now. But anyway, I am going to eat my wonderful food while I edit because Keegan is at his brother's house for a little bit and then I will finish editing this video and get ready for work tomorrow because honestly I need an early night tonight. Um, tomorrow might be a little bit of a stressful day because I have a couple of things I need to do but uh, yeah, so let me just finish eating get through all of this and i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day three i really hope you enjoyed it like i feel like my day-to-day -day life being like compartmentalized into individual videos might not be that entertaining for you guys so when i do get time off i'm gonna try to do a little bit more exciting things than just sit at home and eat and i don't know and, and talk into the camera the whole time so yeah i hope you guys stick around for that stay tuned stay engaged and yeah i'll see you guys all tomorrow for vlogmas day three good night